snow drift and I want to see how far we can get if we can do the whole thing or not so um, if we get stuck I'm gonna feel very silly indeed <laughs> Okay, now we're wedged. So we're gonna go back a little bit. And I'm just gonna go back more, just to see, make sure we've got a clear exit path, because I'd feel very silly if we got completely bogged as a consequence. <laughs> Steering is pretty ineffectual at this point. Okay, yeah, we're bogged again a little bit there. So we just back up there. Okay, now we are properly bogged, forward and backwards. Yeah, we're completely bogged now, bollocks. Um, I've been doing quite a lot of digging. Um, turns out the snow is quite deep. now give it some gas uh, no still stuck no fun uh, new update um, a chappy came along in a van very kindly offered to tow but unfortunately his van wouldn't get into the snow this far so you know whoo, Subaru um, so what I've done is put two tow ropes around that wheel it's gonna make a hell of a racket I think but just wondering if that's going to get us the extra traction that we need uh, to get us out. So, moment of truth, um, everything's a little bit on the mucky side now, as you can imagine. Well, the good news is another wheel is spinning, but we're not moving. Right, chaps, we've uh, got a change. It's moving. I'm just rocking it forward and backwards. Forward and backwards. Backwards. Oh yes. Oh yes. Okay. Right, final sit wrap. We managed to get ourselves free all on our own, which was good. Um, as you can tell, car's not quite as clean as normal, but it's fine. I've recovered. The fact is. Betty is absolutely awesome off-road. There was nothing went wrong. She performed brilliantly. I would quite like some locking differentials next time and maybe an extra, you know, three or 15 inches of ground clearance would be nice. Um, and the way we got out of this, if anybody else is stuck, uh, is by jacking up the wheel. It went mostly into the mud. As you can tell, there is a lot of mud. Um, the interior is um, a little decorated now. Um, and it has to be said that most of the equipment used is also a bit on the mucky side. Um, but hey-ho, I think it's all fun. And as I always like to say, how hard can it be? And the answer is moderately hard. Moderately hard. Good-o. Off to Sirencester.